What's going on guys and welcome back to Project Cars. Today I'm doing a little review type thing on the old versus new DLC pack that came out for the Project Cars recently. So, we're starting off with the BMW 2002 Turbo. This is the old BMW that we see in the pack and it is a pretty nice car. When I think of classic BMWs, this is the one that I think of. Um, I mean it's been on what, Gran Turismo 6, um, Gran Turismo 5, that's really all I can think of to be honest. <laughs> but it, it's been on a few games and I've used it quite a bit. And in this game it is actually very very nice to drive. It is a very, um, very controllable car, it's a bit weird in project cars. Classic cars seem to be quite crazy to drive, but the BMW 2002 Turbo was actually very nice to drive. Wasn't the quickest thing in the world obviously. But it, it's still quite nice, and I do, I, di I did enjoy driving it. It was definitely a nice car to drive. However, it mustn't have been that good because I did manage to spin the car around, as you'll see here, um, towards the end of my my run. So yeah, it it wasn't the easiest thing in the world, I suppose. Next up was the BMW 320TC. This is the new BMW that we see in the back. Now this car is it's okay. It's the only car that doesn't fit into the road category. All these cars go into the road category, apart from this, which goes into the touring car, or the touring category. Um, and it's not a bad car, but it tends to understeer quite a lot. Now, I can I can handle uh, a slightly understeery car, but this, this car does understeer quite a bit, and it just doesn't feel particularly great. It's probably one of the faster cars in a straight line, because it's a race car. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just not nice to drive. To be honest, it's probably my least favourite car in this pack because it's just not really it just doesn't have that feel that a lot of these other cars have and it just wasn't very nice to drive to be honest so probably there may be the slight not necessarily a letdown but the not as good car of the pack once again with this car I did manage to um, to spin it out which was which was great so there you go enjoy my amazing driving next up is the Ford Mustang Fastback this is the old Ford that we see once again, a very nice car, but not the easiest thing to drive. Like I said before, a lot of the classic cars and project cars are quite difficult to drive. They are a bit slidey. Um, you know, they just they don't have the handling that the modern cars do. And with this one, that was that was the case. Um, it just wasn't as nice to drive as a lot of the other like a lot of the other cars we see today. Um, it slided quite a lot, and you know, when you got that slide, it was kind of quite hard to correct it because you'd either it either wouldn't correct or you'd correct it too much and it'd just go spinning off into the wall um, but, but actually that didn't happen that actually didn't happen I didn't spin this car at all um, out of those six cars that were in this pack four of them I spun so this was one of the cars that I actually managed to not spin out so quite surprised by that but yeah Mustang pretty cool car sounds really awesome looks awesome it's orange and black so that's even more awesome and yeah, just a pretty cool car, I suppose, just not the easiest thing in the world to drive. The modern, the new Mustang, or new Ford, should I say, is the Ford Mustang GT. This is the 2015 one, I believe, and it is a very nice car. I do like this car. This could be one of the best cars in the pack. I'm going to say that this, maybe, uh, I have two, maybe three cars that I really liked in this pack, and this is one of them. It's just, it's a cool looking car, the Mustang GT, the 2015 one, it's just a cool looking car. Um, I've never been the mat, the biggest fan of Mustangs, I've personally been more of a fan of like Camaros and stuff, but I will be honest, I do like the Mustang GT, I, I do like it. Um, very nice blue that it comes in as well, that you can get it. It's, it's just a really nice car. Once again though, even though this was quite a nice car to drive, to be honest, it actually wasn't too bad to drive. I still did manage to spin it out and slightly clip barrier um, so yeah there's my great driving again I suppose just pushing it a little bit too hard next up is the rough CTR I believe it's the rough CTR yellow bird but I don't think it says that on the actual um, when you like go to select your car but I believe in the description it says it's the yellow bird the ye yellow bird yellow bird yes English please um, yeah very very nice car very fast and I will say this is a very good hand, like I, I said that the BMW 2002 was a good handling car for a classic car. This is definitely a good handling car for a classic car. I mean, it does slide, but this is something that you don't see in Project Cars very much. It is a very controllable slide. You can control these slides fairly well, 
and I actually I didn't spin this car at all while I was driving it. Um, so this and the Mustang Fast Pack were the two cars that I didn't spin out um, at all, which is weird because they're both the two cars. They're the two cars that that you know drifted around the most, I suppose you could say. Chairs creaking. Um, the two cars that drifted around the most, but yeah, I didn't spin it out, and it was actually a really really nice car. The final car is the Rough RT12R. This is the new Rough. Um, it actually didn't come with a pack, it's the free car for the month, so in that way I kind of think, you know, is it part of the pack? But I mean, it must be, because there's no other rough, so it must be part of the pack, I suppose. They just thought, yeah, just make it the free car. I'm fine with it, whatever. Um, it, this is also a very nice car. I do I do like the rough RT12R. Is this based off a Porsche GT3 RS? I, I'm not 100% sure on that. It looks like it is, but saying that though, a lot of Porsches look the same, so you know. Um, yeah, very nice car to drive. Wasn't too oversteery, wasn't understeery, had a very good speed about it, and it was just a very nice car. However, once again, this car also managed to uh, to a bit of a slide, and um, yeah, the spin there. That wasn't particularly great, but apart from that, it was a really, really nice car to drive. So which car do I think is the best in this pack? Well, I, yeah, to be honest, I think it's got to be between the, the Ford Mustang GT and the Roth CTR. I just really like those two cars. I can't, I don't think I can pick between those two. So I'm just going to say the Roth CTR Yellowbird and the Ford Mustang GT are probably the best cars in the pack. Maybe followed by the RT12R, then the 2002 Turbo, then the Mustang Fastpath because I just wasn't, up, you know, it was a bit, a bit slidey around for me the Mustang. And then the 320TC, because it was just a little bit crappy to drive, to be honest. Kind of the letdown of the pack, I suppose. Still wasn't terrible, but yeah. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.